In elementary school, you probably used blocks, tiles, or grids to demonstrate multiplication. The process may have went like this. What is three times four? You would select three tiles and place them down one dimension of your multiplication table. Place four tiles along the other dimension. Then fill in the rectangle created by the tiles. And finally, count the result. You can use the same idea when multiplying algebraic expressions. For example, if we want to know the product of x plus 2 and x plus 3, we can use algebra tiles to find the answer. Notice the different types of tiles here. x squared is a square that is x by x in size. The green tiles are rectangles that are 1 by x in size. The red rectangles are negative 1 by x in size. And the orange and red squares are a positive and a negative 1 in size. To find the product of x plus 2 and x plus 3, place an x and two ones along the left side of your multiplication table. In Microsoft Word, you can duplicate shapes by selecting them and pressing Control plus the letter D. Be sure you see the Move icon signaled by four arrows when dragging them to the table. Then place an X and three ones along the top of your table. Next, fill in the area inside of your table to create a rectangle x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x's, three 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 3 is 6. Finally, read the resulting area, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Let's try a problem with negative values. Multiply x minus 1 by x minus 4. Again, we choose green X tiles, but this time we need red ones tiles. When we fill in the area below the multiplication table, we ask ourselves, what's a positive X times a positive X? Positive X squared. What's positive X times negative four? Negative four X's. What's positive x times negative 1? Negative x. And finally, what's negative 1 times negative 4? Positive 4. Fill in the area. Then write the result. x squared minus 5x's plus 4.